Hello, I'm Beatrice Blue and I'm the author and the illustrator of Once Upon a Unicorn Horn and Once Upon a Dragon's Fire. And today I'm here to show you the next one that's called Once Upon a Mermaid's Tale. So as you can imagine, Once Upon a Unicorn Horn talks about unicorns. Once Upon a Dragon's Fire talks about dragons. And Once Upon a Mermaid's Tail is all about mermaids and how they got their tail. So this is our mermaid, her name is Oceane, and this little boy's name is Theodore. And this book is inspired by the nature and all the animals living in the oceans and in the wild and how to really take care of them. So I'm going to read this today to you, which is really exciting. And I'm going to be showing you the inside too. So let's read it together. <laughs> Once Upon a Mermaid's Tale by Beatrice Blue. Once upon a magical lagoon, there lived a boy named Theodore. Theodore had a little boat and a big passion. Collecting fish. He had golden fish, spotty fish, colourful fish and some big fish too. Theodore loved to see the way their scales shimmered in the sunlight like jewels. Look at all the fishes that he has. Every week, Theodore would take his little boat and go searching for new fish to take home with him. One day, sailing through the waters, he found something truly special. Look at that, so shiny. He's about to catch it. It was the most beautiful creature he had ever seen. But as he was picking it up, a loud booming voice said, Leave her, Theodore. She belongs to the ocean. Theodore didn't know who had spoken, but he did know that he couldn't bear to leave the creature behind. He had to have her for his collection. On the way home, Theodore heard that voice again. Put her back, Theodore. She belongs to the ocean. But again, he ignored it. Why should he put her back? He knew that he would take very good care of her. I will call you Oceane, he said, as he dropped the creature in her, into her new tank, where he could see her always. Every morning and every night, Theodore checked on Oceane, but as the days went by, something terrible happened. Oceane got weaker and weaker, and paler and paler, until one day she stopped moving entirely. Theodore didn't understand What's happened to her? he cried. Then the booming voice answered, I am the voice of the ocean. That is where the creature belongs. We told you, but you did not listen, and now her shell is broken. Theodore felt her heart shrink. Ocean was hurt, and it was all his fault. He had to take her back to the lagoon where he had found her. The water was very angry. But gathering all of his courage, Theodore took the deepest breath he could, then jumped in. Underwater, all the other fish were gone. The plants were lifeless. Everything was silent and still, especially Oceane. 
Theodore held his breath and waited and waited and waited. But Oceane didn't wake up. Theodore gulped. Maybe it was too late. Maybe she couldn't survive without her shell. I'm sorry, Oceane, he whispered. Then suddenly, from behind the rocks, a golden fish approached Oceane and gave her one of his precious scales. After him, another spotty fish did the same thing. Every colourful creature came out of their hiding spot to give Oceane a scale, and the biggest fish gathered huge shells to lay around her, until... With a swirl full of magic and spirals of wonder, Ocean woke up. She was still the most beautiful creature Theodore had ever seen, though now she didn't have a shell. Instead, she had a wonderful tail. Theodore saw how happy Ocean was to be back in the ocean, and he knew what he had to do. From that day on, all mermaids have tails to remind us of something very important. That we must always take care of all animals and creatures, letting them live safely with their families in the wild where they belong. To Alice Branch and to all the kids out there, who will make our world a better place for all creatures. Okay, so let's draw Ocean together. Let's learn how to draw her. It's going to be really easy. All you need is a pencil or a pen, whatever you want really, and a piece of paper. So, okay, every drawing for me starts with a circle <laughs> and that's a really funny thing because I always say it and it always happens. So let's draw a circle right here, almost at the top, but not at the very top. It's going to be a circle around this size. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It's fine like that. And then on the sides of it, we're going to do little C's, like a teapot kind of thing, like the sides of a teapot. So in this circle, we're going to find the middle of it, and then we're going to go a little bit up that middle, and we're going to draw a star. So a star that has five points is going to be like this, a little pointy bit at the top, sort of like a mountain, and then one to the right, one down, one left. We always go out and then come back in, out and in, and that's a star over there. And then, so on the sides, we're gonna draw the eyes, the eyes are going to be circles, almost a bit oval, like that. So I'm going to draw one here. There you go. And another one on the other side, at the same level. Do, 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 do. There we go. We've got two eyes. Inside these two circles, we're going to do more circles. So we're going to do one here and one here. Oh, they're a bit weird, but that's okay. And another circle and another circle. We'll fix them later. So another thing that I like to do is I like to go over the edge of the eyes like this. And then I stop right here and I go out just one little bit, then another little bit, then another, another little bit, and that makes the eyelashes. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three. 
and then we have to make a smile. So the smile will be right in the middle of these two eyes, right here. Just like, like a moon that goes from up to up. So something that Ocean has is she's got seaweed hair, which is actually super cool. And that's going to be a lot of fun to do. So we're going to start right here every time from the very top of the head. And then we're going to do shapes as we want any type of shape just going down. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to go like, for example, and then I'm going to go back up however we want like that. That's going to be one. So I'm going to do another one. Let's say this one's going to be a bit more pointy and it goes back up. Another one that's going to go across the face and it's going to be woo, just sort of like snakes, you know, just have fun with it because seaweeds are not perfect. They're all weird. They have weird shapes. Once we have one side, we can go to the other side and it's going to be the same thing. Just like little, little snakes, you know, just wobbling around. Once we go up, we go back down with different shapes. Ooh, just have fun with it. Ooh. That's why Ocean, it's so fun to draw. There we go. We've got some seaweed hair. Oh, so Ocean has something else. Ocean has freckles. So she's got three over here on the top of her mouth and then three underneath her eyes, both of them. And then I'm just going to do this a little bit stronger so you see it. There we go. Okay, so we've got Ocean's hair. Oh, 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 forgot something. Ocean has something else on her hair. She's got a seaweed that looks like beads on her hair. And that goes like this. So it starts from here from the top. And we do little balls, just like a path, like a path of little ants, wherever we want, really. Because this is, again, a seaweed and it's fun and it doesn't have to be perfect. Once we have a path like that, we're just going to draw a line that mixes all these dots, which is actually fun and difficult. And again, probably on the other side, wherever you want really, again, this is just to enjoy and have fun with it. Do, 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 and we draw a line mixing these dots together. We could do this as many times as we want because it doesn't have, she doesn't have a specific amount of seaweed on her hair. It actually variates. So there we go. We mix them up, always the same exercise. This is actually that looking better. We're gonna do some more seaweed here until you like it, you know, you could just play with it. I'm going to do some more beads down here and then I'll be done. Do, 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 there we go. Okay, that's my ocean's head. Once I have my head, I'm going to do the body and the body is really easy too. We're going to start with the neck. So the neck starts right here down the face and it goes down like this. Just two little lines that go down. And then the arms are going to go out like this. They're going to spread out for a hug. So she's going to, from here, we're going to go out do, 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 a long way, a long way like that, all the way out. Once we're here, we're going to do the fingers. So she's got five fingers. So we're going to do one, two, three, and four, wait there. And then we're going to do a little thumb in here. There we go. So now she's got five fingers. And we're going to go all the way back into the armpit over there. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So all the way out, remember. Doo, 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 doo. Once we reach over here, we're going to do five fingers. 
four that go out, one, two, three, and four, and a thumb inside. And we're going to go back in to the armpit. Once we're there, we can do the body because we've got the arms already, which is really cool. Um, the body goes like this. So it goes down like that, like a little triangle going down. And she's going to have a sort of dress that's going to go like this. So one little bump, one little bump, one little bump, one little bump. We're going to do four little bumps over there. And then we have to do the tail. So the tail can be as big as you want it to be and the shape that you want it to be. The shape is free. But I'm going to do it like this and then if you want, you could do the same one. So starting from here, we're going to go down in a shape that's sort of like just fun. Like that and then like that. And then we're going to follow the same shape from big to small. And once we get to here, we're going to do a fin like that. So now we have a tail and we can decorate it. So we can play with colors, we can play with glitter, you can play with anything you want. And this is for you to play. And you could just put it in here, draw stars if you want, just place some stickers on top. I don't know if I'll have any stickers with me right now, but you can, no, I don't have any here, but you can just play with it. So the way you'll do it is just place inside the tail anything you want to make it glittery, fun, colorful, whatever makes you happy with Ocean. And, uh, I'm sure she'll be beautiful and I can't wait to see everything that you do with her. So also around her, you could do seaweed, for example, just like the same ones that we did on the head. Or you can do bubbles. Bubbles are really easy to draw because you could just draw a circle and a little circle inside and another circle and another circle. And that's how bubbles work. And then you can draw stars, one, two, and three points. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. And now we have Ocean in her lagoon. There you go. Seaweed, little rocks. And this is going to be beautiful when you decorate her tail. Yay! Thank you for drawing with me. I hope you enjoy drawing Ocean. Thank you for reading it with me. I hope you liked it. Um, I really enjoyed doing this book because um, it's. I think it's really important to take care of animals and nature in the best way we can. And I wanted to write a story that carries the magic um, that all the other books have, but also talk a little bit about how we can take care of all, the, all those magical creatures, um, the animals around us. So I hope you enjoy it and I can't wait to hear your thoughts on it. And yes, thank you for joining me today. It's been so nice. Bye.